In this LibreTime tutorial, I'll explain how to use some advanced smart block features to add random top of the hour station IDs to the beginning of shows with auto loading playlists. First, this tutorial assumes that you've watched the previous tutorial on how to set up auto loading playlists with podcasts, smart blocks, and playlists. If you aren't familiar with these concepts, you might want to watch that one first. So, assuming you have shows with auto loading playlists in your schedule already, you might want to add something like a top of the hour station ID to every show. We're going to log in as an admin. So to do this, we'll start by defining a smart block that will designate tracks as the top of the hour station IDs. LibreTime is flexible in how you define this, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we will use genre to define this. So first click on smart blocks, then click the new button, and an untitled smart block should show up on the right. If your screen is smaller resolution, you'll need to scroll down to see this. Now for name, we will type top of the hour station ID. It is probably best to be explicit here so there is no confusion to other users of the system. Now under search criteria, we will select genre. For the modifier, we will select is. And then we will type TOTHID, or shorthand for top of the hour ID. And you could type long form in here, but it might be better to use the shorthand in this case as any other users will need to match it explicitly and any typos would prevent their top of the hour IDs from airing. Now we will change the limits to items versus hours. If you have already uploaded a few tracks with toss ID as the genre, and the smart block will select one at random when you click preview. Right now there are no tracks. So we're going to click save. Now we have a top of the hour ID. Now you might not necessarily trust your DJs to create correct top of the hour IDs or you want to have some sort of vetting process so they need approval before they're added to the rotation. We can do this by adding additional criteria. This step is optional, but it could be useful in certain situations. So you want to click New Criteria. We're going to select Owner. And then we're going to do Is. And we're going to type Admin. You can also designate a special user or program manager login to handle these tracks. This will mean that only tracks uploaded by the admin will be selected. If we click Save, this will prevent top of the hour IDs uploaded by DJs from being selected unless an admin takes ownership over the tracks. I will show you how you can do this to an existing tracks in the next step. So we're going to click save. Still have zero matching. If you want to record and add additional tracks, you can upload tracks and edit their metadata so that the genre is TOTHID. So we're going to do that right now. Save. Go back to our smart block. Now you can see it's showing up. We will upload the track now and go to steps. Okay, if you want to put ownership restrictions on your tracks so that only top of the hour IDs created by a certain user will be selected from the list, you can select that user as the new owner from the drop down list. So let's say we wanted to put a different track. We wanted to also use this other short track uploaded. Let's pretend that this was a station ID. And it was uploaded by a DJ. We'll change it to admin. 
then we'll set the genre to be TOTHID. Click Save. And now if we go back to Smart Blocks, top the RID, click Preview, you see two tracks. And there you go. Uh, simulate random. So choose between the two tracks. We have a shortened DJ specific guide that explains how to upload tracks and edit their metadata so that your DJs can learn how to do this without all the unneeded information. Click the description below for a link to that. Now in order to add this show to auto loading playlists, we can either add this top of the hour station ID block to any existing shows auto loading playlist or we can even set it to be automatically added to the top of every auto loading playlist through a new feature called the intro playlist. To do this, we need to create a playlist containing the smart block. So we're going to create a playlist. I'm going to click new. Type a name of the playlist we want it to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we're going to type intro playlist here. Now we're going to go to Smart Blocks. We're going to drag, or you can click Add to Current Playlist. Now it'll be added once you click Save. Now you'll have a playlist that will automatically play a random top of the hour station ID. Now to get a station wide ID auto loading playlist, you currently need to be an admin. So program managers will need the request this step be performed by an admin for the time being. In the future, we're considering creating new settings section that program managers will be able to change the settings on. So if you can, click Settings, go to General, and then go to Intro Auto Loading Playlist and select Intro Playlist from the list. And we're going to go down, we're going to click Save. Now, every time an auto-loading playlist is scheduled, the system will select a random top of the hour ID and insert it before any other content. You can also edit the show playlist itself and add this on top of the hour smart block before the content. So now, for every show you automatically schedule, you can be relatively sure that you will air the required station ID. Another cool thing about creating special smart blocks for this is if you have DJs uploading individual tracks to their show, they can easily add a station ID to their show just by adding the smart block on top of their show. And it will pull a random ID. I'll show you a demo of that. So, this morning news show, they were recording it and they wanted to just add a top of the hour before they uploaded their tracks or scheduled it they could click that and it would drag one put one at the top one of the big remaining challenges for automation that we haven't addressed yet is that syndicated shows are of variable length and at this point we will potentially have silence after a show that doesn't fill the full hour we will cover some advanced smart block features in our next tutorial they'll explain how to use the outro playlist with smart blocks to find tracks to play in between shows without the risk of them being interrupted if they are too long to play in completion. Alright, thanks for tuning in, and as always, you can go to discourse.libretime.org to ask questions and get help on your LibreTime install. Thanks for tuning in to LibreTime 101.